moving to oneness. Nourishing curiosity. Embracing differences. Becoming one. rainbow colors, there's an amazing energy, blue sky, a vibrancy, it is at the moment the time that brings you whatever you desire, take in the next few minutes we're together, we are the Moving to Oneness podcast, to pull in and to reflect on your wishes and whatever you want to create in collaboration with everyone existing and everything existing. So welcome, I'm Mylene Elke and it's the weekend of love. Tomorrow is the 14th of February. It is a special day for me, not because it's Valentine's Day, I send and live love, I think, every single day. Maybe there have been few sad days in my life. But as a sound healer, tomorrow, Jonathan Goldman started 19 years ago the vision of celebrating sound worldwide, globally, on the 14th of February. And as you know, our podcast goes always live on a Sunday, sometimes in the morning, midday, sometimes with the last hour. (laughs) Yeah. So I'm dedicating today's show to sound and love. So what sounds beautiful to you? In English, you know, we can play with the word sound, sound what sounds comfortable to you, right? That is something where you can open up and expand in any situation or whatever someone else tells you. You widen. Or you can agree. You sense a little bit of truth. You can trust it. And you may sense that it comes with a little bit of love, whatever the person is bringing to you an idea, a design, a poem, an invitation to do something together. The list goes on. And how do things sound to you? In your ear, when you hear something. Right? So this snow outside has been on the ground already for a few days. So it crackles when you walk on it, where a few days ago it was silent almost when you walked through it, unless it was very deep and you had to pull up your legs and pulled up a lot of snow and then you could hear it falling. Can you hear the wind where you are? How does that sound to you? In the back of me in the room next door, there's water dripping out of a faucet in its own rhythm. It's a boiler, so after I just drank some warm water before speaking, and afterwards it takes a few minutes to, for the pressure to regulate. So a few drops come out. What sounds let you regulate yourself, feel comfortable to you. I remember there was a band, was it the 80s, Art of Noise? They created interesting music, rather uh, tech-oriented instrumental music, and that kind of music could have made you aggressive or wild to dance 
There were also songs that made you calm. So what tones change you, bring you into the mood that you desire? Meditative music. Do you listen to that? Do you prefer someone singing? Do you like the synthesizer's tone? Or do you prefer the sound of opera singers? What kind of music do you love? That was just a tone created from my earphones. Dropping on the marble table before they fell further down. Or I hear the crackle, you may hear it too, of my favorite couch I sit on when I record the show for you. You may hear the sound of your head moving, clothing that you're wearing, Which sounds disturb you? So many questions, right? And when do sounds disturb you? Like a second ago, there were children laughing outside. They're throwing snowballs and pulling their sled. And their laughter. Some people get ignored. Um, not ignored. Yeah, some can really ignore them because they're so focused in whatever they do. And others get disturbed by laughter of children. And if so, why? Are they very dense? Are they upset about something so they're not totally relaxed? So sounds disturb you? I can hear the sound of the birds outside even as they're picking their food. I put new seeds out this morning for them. Maybe you're at the ocean and you hear the waves, this beautiful rhythm. Very smoothing. But these same waves, I remember that boyfriend and his father had a house at the ocean a long time ago. But he said he had to sell that house because he, when he was sleeping at night, the waves would hit against the walls where that house was built onto. And that created such strong, more violent tones and noise all night. And he couldn't sleep there because it was not soothing for him. So are we going there in this conversation? It's really interesting, right? You all know me. I just start speaking and see what is desired in the moment to come through. That there is no really a right or wrong sound. It depends on how you feel, how I feel, how we feel within a group, what emotions we have, what we're celebrating, do we want to move our body or not? Are we outdoors or inside? Do we desire quietness? Or we want the stimuli of everything that is surrounding us, like in a large city, right? You go to a market, outdoor market. So find what you love to hear what kind of music is perfect for you and nourish yourself with it. I think that is the most important. And to see if a tone, a sound is not soothing for you or disturbs you, what is the underlying factor? Because it's a beautiful energy at the moment to dissolve this. Two days ago we had the new moon, the Chinese, a new year. All right, so so many things can be wished for. So what I wish for is that we, again, all of us can hear more and more, get fine-tuned, get quiet enough, soft enough 
in being ourselves and then hearing the sacred sounds of this cosmos. That we can get more fine tuned in hearing the natural created sounds. That when you're outside, when you're aware, you can hear already birds' wings long before you can see the bird, even of a small one. That you can hear the rustling of the leaves that are playing in the wind. That you hear your own breath and hear the song of all existing. And to realize that it's a choir, a beautiful choir, that you're an important part of. And that your voice is important. The tones you make, the sounds you make are important for yourself and everyone else. So with the next few minutes I would love just to sing and sound with the intention of bringing love to more and more instances and that you also get more fine tuned to, to feel your own love for yourself, to feel love from others, to extend love to others, and to have this love within your voice for everything existing, for anyone, for anything you speak to, you sing to, you talk to, you mumble to, you read to, you hum to. And also that sound that you in your own brain, in within your own body, your own sound. Also maybe if you hear it on a recording, you hear the love, the existing love, the light, the brilliancy, the warmth, the embrace of your voice and what sounds your voice can create. Ooh, I, I, Bum, bum, bum. 
Sound symphony for you, for sound, for love. Bringing your voice to be heard. Sounding out who you are. Stay with that vibration. I don't know if you can feel it, but my body is vibrating top to toe, from my head down to my fingers. And there's the bell. So... I wish you a wonderful day. This is Mylene of the Moving to Oneness show. The best to you. Bye-bye.